DuvalSports.com, Dream King Films. We're here with Kerry Hardin of the Terry Parker Braves. Hey, Kerry, man, you just uh, signed with one university and make it official, man. Give me a little bit of something on how it feels. Man, it feels great. You know, I've been through ups and downs, but, you know, I managed to get through it. And I'm just fighting this fighting and trying to get better. That's all. Kerry, today is February 26th. We all know National Assignment Day was February 3rd. Just explain to everybody real quick why you chose today to sign. Well, I was just, you know, weighing my options. I had a couple options, uh, you know, North Carolina, Westland. I could have went there, Weber, and then wanted. But, you know, I took a couple visits, and, you know, one is a good fit, not too big, not too small, yeah, and all that. And, you know, I had the test scores, I had the GPA, I just wanted to weigh my options. Yes, sir. Um, Kerry, give me some of the pros and cons with these different universities, North Carolina, Wesleyan, Weber, and give us a reason that ultimately led you to sign with Warner. Well, it's like the type of defense they run, like, we had like okay, sometimes we did a four two five, sometimes we did four three five. It was it was back and forth, but I didn't know like which one would fit me. But at Warner, they guaranteed me that I was gonna, you know, judge by my huddle and my highlight thing that I had a spot right there. Like I'm starting off top. But the only thing, the only thing I gotta do is just, just get better, stay in shape and stuff. And plus, it's a Christian school. I'm very, I'm very high godly man. I, I love, I love Christ and everything. You know, I just want to just continue on. Yes, sir. Care. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Kerry. Talk a little bit more about your faith in God and how much uh, that played a part in this process for you, man. Well, since I've been going to church since I was like yay high, and I just been back and forth, back and forth. My grandma kept me in the church when I was living with her. My mom, my dad, uncles, aunts, my whole family just they believe in Christ, and you know, and to pick back on that, I just everything is through God, all faith and everything. You know, I thank God, give Him the glory for for this day too. Yes, sir. We all know they got a uh, they big on the family atmosphere down there at Lake Wells Warner University. Talk about how important it was to have that family atmosphere and making your decision to choose their school care. Well, man, you know it was good. I went down there. Everybody made me feel like I'm at home. They all they thought I was their brother. They treated me like you know one of their own. So right now I'm a royal right now, and and it's a good feeling, man. Yes, sir. Care academically, how do you fit fit in down there on Warner University? Oh, I, I feel good. You know, I took the ACT. I made a twenty on the first try. That's my first try ever taking it. I'm gonna take it again. But you know, in order to get there, you need an eighteen on the ACT. You need a two point two five to get there. And you know, I just been just grinding it out. And hopefully, on my next ACT, I get a higher score. Yes, sir, Care. I'm um, staying with academics. We all know uh, academics is the major key part of the, uh, receiving any scholarship on any level. Some of your um, teammates not going to go on to college. Strictly because of that, academics wasn't up to par. Just talk to us a little bit about how much and how major academics is in receiving a scholarship here. Oh, academics, man, that's like the number one priority, period. Like, the way I do it is academics first and football last. You know, I love the game. I, I love it. I, God knows I do. But at the same time, academics is where it's at. Because think about it. If you get hurt in football, what do you have back to fall on? I'm just saying. Yes, sir, Kerry. I'm sorry, Kerry. Um, we're going to go back to the football side of this. Talk about the scheme they run at Lake Wells defensively and how will you be able to flourish in their scheme? Well, they run a forefront, four-man front, and the man told me, well, Coach Meeks, he was, he was just telling me that I was going to be like a more of a DN type guy, standing up, going, just trying to fill holes and everything. Just, you know, playing just playing all sides of the ball, just just trying to get mine. That's all. Yes, sir. Um, Kerry, give us uh, a few of your good attributes. What makes you such a good defensive player, Kerry? Well, to start off, when I first came in ninth grade, I wasn't nowhere near where I'm at now. But Coach Tommy Bailey, he helped me. He fought with me. He stayed with me through ninth grade to 12th. And, I, you know, he just taught me all the basic, the fundamentals of everything. And he got me faster, more reliable, and stronger and everything. So now, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just here. Just elaborate a little bit more on that, how much hard work, and sacrifice and dedication you've been putting into the sport of football and on your craft to get better and ultimately go on to the next level, Kerry? Well, first of all, like when I first tried it out, I didn't want to do it. But, you know, Coach Tommy Bailey, he called me up. He's like, come on, man, I need you. You know, fight, fight through this. I'm, I'm taking you, I'm going to carry you on my back for the next four years. So it is what it is. Like, what you want to do? And I was like, yes, sir, I understand that, Coach. He said, keep me out of trouble and everything. And from then there, never been in any kind of trouble at all, no kind of background. And it just, you know, football, it just taught me to be a better person, a bigger and better person. So it's like right now, I'm the big brother of Terry Parker. Like, everybody believes in me, have faith in me. All the kids come up to me, shaking my hand. Congratulations, Kerry, you earned it. You, you this and you that. And, you know, I highly think that. And I, I highly thank my, my teacher staff right here at Terry Parker High School and my coach staff here at Terry Parker High School. Yes, sir. Kerry, we, we, we all know here in Jacksonville that you're an outstanding guy, high character. But to the to the citizens of Lake Wells, the administration, coaching staff, yes, what sir. kind of player did they get by offering you a scholarship? What kind of person are you? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, you, you can trust me. You can count on me for anything. I arrive for my team. 
for the whole Lake Well City, I'll just do it. You know, I'm coming down there to put on the show, and that's what I plan on doing. You know, I'm not as big as the other guys are, but I guarantee you I can get the job done just as good as they can. Yes, sir, Kerry, do you plan on competing right away, starting? Oh, yeah, um, off top. Off top, I got to. I got to go down there. Even though I, I have a spot, I, 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 that's not good enough for me. I, I can't down there to take somebody's spot, and I'm coming for it. Yes, sir. You played a little bit of running back here at Terry Parker as well. Will you uh, play on the offensive side of the ball down there in Lake Wells? Well, the coach told me most likely not he need me as a D-tackle right now, but, hey, if somebody get hurt or they need somebody, I'm the man to do it. Your family was in attendance, big smile on their face, your mom, everybody that supports you, man. How, how cool was that to put that smile on their face, Kerry, knowing that it had been a long time coming? Well, it was great because, you know, nobody in my family ever went to play college football. My daddy went off to college, but he waited years and years on down the road to go to school. And, like, to be honest, like, I'm one of the first ones to go to school for this. And, you know, everybody proud of me back home in Mississippi and Jacksonville and everything, you know, and it's hard to come from the city that we are in now and make it somewhere in life. The way all the crime and the violence is going on right now, so I'm just trying my best to keep on riding forward and have a positive life. Care, talk about being one of the first to go on to college and play football on the next level and what that means to you. It means a lot, man, because seeing what I've been through with my family and everything, man, is, is you know, our life is very challenging because me coming from Mississippi, which is a poor state, and I'm sure everybody know that it's hard. It's hard to get looked at and talent and all that because most schools in Mississippi, they go out of state looking for kids. They don't come looking for us because they say either we're too uneducated or we're not big enough or we're not good enough. So, you know, man, to pay back off that, it just, it's just amazing. You know, God be the glory to it. Thank you. Yes, sir, Kerry. What do you got to say to any youth out there that follow Terry Parker football, that follow Lake Wells football? What do you got to say to the youth out there, Kerry? Only thing I do, man, just keep your grades up, GPA, high GPA first good test scores, any college it will offer you, no matter how bad or how good you are, you know, just keep academics. Academics is the number one thing in sports today. If you don't have academics, you, you can't do anything. You, you can't go nowhere. You don't want to be flipping burgers and stuff and McDonald's and Burger King and all that. You want to be riding good, riding, riding nice cars and stuff. In order to get that, you need your, your college education. You need that. So only thing I got to say is just stay on top of your academic game, man, and, hey, you'll make it. Yes, sir, Kerry. We all know, man, people face adversity over the years, man. But uh, we're glad to see you stuck with it, and now your dreams have been made um, possible through Christ, man. Yes, Thanks sir. for talking with us, and good luck to your future, Kerry. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you.